I saw this top on Instagram and fell deeply in love. And then I went on the website and saw the price and went into a deep, dark depression until I realized I could DIY it for $30 and totally no so. Yes. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here for another video. My name is Orly and this is the DIY designer. I do really great DIY fashion and home decor and today is a mind-blowing designer dupe that has stolen my heart in a way that I can't even explain. I think maybe it's my top two favorite DIYs definitely of the year, but I mean, it's creeping up there as one of my favorites and I get to wear it on a boat this weekend. It's gonna be fabulous. I'm so excited. This top. This top has gone viral on Instagram. Everybody is wearing it. Everybody is photographing it and everybody wants it. And it's 600 of the dollars. This DIY is not only gonna cost you 30 bucks, but the most important thing is that it's no so. And this is not like a fabric glue safety pin kind of a no so. This is a I don't even know how to explain it. Your brain's gonna explode when you realize how this whole thing comes together. It is super legit. And I gotta say, I think my lace-up corset version is actually kind of cooler than the original. Just putting that out there. Just putting that out there. All you guys need is this fabric. Now, I got mine at Benjamin's Place downtown in Imperial Bead and Trim. It's called Hot Fix Rhinestone Panels. I'm gonna link his website below. All you need is this fabric some grommets, and some fabric that you can use as a lining. And even the fully lined aspect of it is no so. You guys are gonna freak out. You're gonna freak out. Okay, let's get right into it. It's fantastic. I hope you enjoy. Let's go downtown. I brought the kids with me downtown. They have never been with me downtown. Can I buy this I don't think we're gonna buy any more. We got the fabric, the one that we needed. Let's take video of it. Oh, so many beautiful things. There's Benjamin. So remember, I will put the link below if you guys want to see it on his website. But basically what I did is I headed to a shop and he has some of these that are already cut into sort of the more narrow bra shape ones. I think they're maybe like six inches wide. So obviously very narrow bra. I wanted a full length panel. That way I could customize the size of mine to be more of a crop top. So I just kind of helped myself as I tend to do at Benjamin's. I grabbed a ladder. I got up top. I looked at all the colors and I decided the blue is the color I really wanted. I grabbed two full length panels and then a couple of the more narrow ones just in case. I also got some rainbow trim because I thought maybe that's how I would lace it up in the back. Gonna figure it all out when I got home. So I grabbed everything and I went outside to start cutting in my PJs, very fancy. Now I already know how long I'm gonna cut it. I sort of wrapped it around my body and did a tiny little slit. When you are cutting this fabric, because it's crystal, you're basically just gonna follow the line of the crystals, right? So I did a little snip and now I followed the line in between two rows of crystals until I had the width around my body that I wanted. Then I figured out where I wanted to crop it and it was right at about the belly button. I know the fabric looks fairly drapey right now, but that's because I'm outside and the warmth is sort of softening up the adhesive on the back. But it is gonna be a little stiff, so you wanna make sure to do more of a crop top than like a long drapey top. We are going to use grommets to actually lace this entire thing up, and this is how it's no-so. Now, in the beginning, I was like getting ahead of myself. I was just trying to figure out if the grommets would actually work, so I haven't lined it or done anything yet, but I will show you how to do that. But you can see the grommets work. They go in, they fuse, they clean finish, fully functioning, and it was right around now when I realized aligning is super necessary. But this is what makes it no-so. The fabric on the back side is like an iron-on patch. It has the adhesive. So all you need to do is take a piece of your lining fabric, cut it to size, and iron it to the back side. The glue on the back of the crystals, just like a hot fix, will start to melt, fusing with the lining fabric, and boom, you have a fully lined top with no sewing needed whatsoever. Now, obviously, the very first grommet, I had to kind of cut it out to release it, but the rest I'm gonna do with the lining fabric in so the whole thing is clean, finished, and fused. I decided to space the grommets out about one inch apart because I wanted them to be fully laced up. I didn't want big gaps in between each grommet where it could pucker. Now, this beginning part was kind of a learning curve. I started sort of putting in one grommet at a time, and that's when I realized the best thing to do is to actually create all of your holes all at once, like this. This allows you to make sure that they're fully uniform as opposed to doing each grommet at once. So what I realized was about eight 
crystals apart is where they should be spaced out. And the holes, based off the size of grommets I used, needed to be about a four by four of the crystals, right? So four crystals over, four crystals down, four crystals over, and four crystals up gave me the size I needed. And then I spaced them out eight crystals apart. That gave me exactly the spacing I needed to fill all the grommets. And now it was time to add them. Doing them all at once is definitely easiest. You're going to grab the male side of the grommet, which has the larger part that goes through the front, and you're going to push it through both layers, the crystal in the front and the lining in the back. Sort of stretch the fabric around it and then grab the female side and put it on the back. This little piece comes with your grommet set, and it's meant to protect the front grommet, the outward facing grommet, from getting scratched up when you're hammering. You then grab this piece and you hammer. You're gonna to wanna to do it on something like this, concrete or brick. I do not recommend doing this on the table because it's not gonna give you enough resistance. But as you can see, once the holes in the fabric are cut and evenly spaced, adding the grommets takes no time at all. The longest part is just cutting all of the holes and making sure that they're evenly spaced. Once the grommets are done, you can see it is fully clean finished from both sides. The back side has my lining, which is not only fused by the ironing, but also attached with the grommets. Now it was time to figure out the lace up. Originally, I thought I was gonna do this really cool rainbow one, but it was a little bit too large of a, of a diameter and I couldn't really tie it. Like I didn't have the ability to actually lace it, although it is pretty cool. And you'll see later, I end up doing it in the smaller, just regular crystal. Now for the straps, this is another thing that I totally came up with as I was doing it and I think it is so freaking cool. I grabbed my straps and I made them twice as wide as I needed so that I could fold them in half and iron them together. This makes sure that they are double crystal, right? So crystal on the front and the back. However, I made it two inches longer than I actually needed it and I did not iron those two inches closed. Now, that inch on either end, I'm gonna cut open. And what that allows me to do is sandwich it in between the outside and the inside. When I iron it, it will fuse the whole thing together. Again, this is a way to make it totally no so. So you take that strap, you leave the two ends unironed, that way you can split them open. One side goes on the outside of the fabric and one side goes on the inside. You can see it's like a little sandwich. Now I iron each side and the iron on adhesive on the back will just fuse it. When you're figuring out your width, this is a good way to do it. For me, I decided to have my straps about eight inches apart, and I did the same thing on the back. That way I can wear it reversible. And you'll see I'm able to wear this with the lace up in the front or the back, which is really great. Might as well get a two for one out of it. Now I wanted to create one of the bra tops. So I took one of those thin pieces that I had and I realized that by ironing the lining on it without even cutting it, it was way easier because I'll cut off the excess. I also realized this could be a killer dress, you guys. If you iron like a really pretty blue fabric to this and then put straps, it would have like a beaded corset top with a flowy drapey skirt, pretty cool. But I was making a top, so I'm just pulling my lining fabric away from it and trimming it and now it's fully custom to size. Now for this version, I decided to just do two grommets at the very top and I'm gonna tie it together. So it'll be sort of tied and then V'd open in the back. And I had already made these straps before I realized the sandwich technique and so I'm using a little E6000. So if that's all you have, no problem. You can totally do it like this, add a little E6000 and let it dry. I make another top which is a little bit wider because this bra top is a little bit narrow so you'll see at the end, I've actually got three of them. I can't wait to model these for you. These are absolutely incredible. Like I said, they are fully customizable. So width, length, size, whatever you want. And if you have a bust, unlike me, and you want to put a dart, remember the fact that this fabric can be cut and fused to itself means that you could actually create darts and create overlaps and just iron it and fuse it together. So you can create a skirt with darts, a top with darts. So just keep that in mind. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did and you're not already subscribed, I hope that you will subscribe. I release amazing videos every single Fridays and shorts on Sundays, and I would just love your support so much. And if you are one of my regulars, thanks for being here, guys. I hope you'll share this video with a friend, maybe screenshot it, post it on your social, something like that. Um, and if you make this project, you better tag me. You better tag me. Okay, I'm gonna go model this outside, although I will say photographs just don't do it justice in person. It's like a sparkly disco ball. So cool. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye. I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way. Don't wanna waste no time without you ever brightening up my days. Never meant to fall so hard.
keep my focus right Every glimpse of you deserts me You're all I think about sometimes But baby I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came 